everyone, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber, and today I have a card featuring one of the new Susie's Watercolor Doodles. This is a pack of 19 prints on Tim Holtz watercolor paper sheets, and they're all different and all super fun doodle designs that will take the any sort of watercolor really nicely. I'm using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers to watercolor the print I decided to do today. It's a really fun print that says, life isn't about surviving the storm, it's about dancing in the rain. And I thought that was a super fun uh, quote or phrase there. There's a whole bunch of them in this pack, and I can't wait to color all of them. Um, I decided to do some rainbow coloring and because I find that a lot of times if I try to work too far ahead and and figure out exactly where I need to color the next red section or whatever, um, I always seem to get off and mess up. So I did them one by one. Originally I kind of thought I'd, I'd colored over some of those little outline shapes and I thought I'd go over it with a white pen. I didn't like that. So instead, I chose a nice dark gray zig pen, and I'm going to outline any of those little doodle areas with this dark pen, and it's really going to make this pop, each section, not only on the umbrella, but on the letters themselves. I have listed the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Marker colors I'm using in the upper left corner of the screen. Uh, throughout this whole um, little section here where I am coloring, I guess I want to say. That way you can see I'm using two colors or two shades per color, and I'm going to use those throughout the entire design of this panel. I said the upper right corner of the screen. I'm actually going to list everything here in the lower left corner so that you can see the coloring since I have the sheet kind of up higher in the screen than I do normally. For red, I'm using 021 and 022. For orange, 070 and 220. 220 actually is T rose, which is more of a pink, but it blends really great with the 070 for orange. For yellow, I'm using 050 and 051. As I'm working and as each section dries, you definitely want to make sure the colors dry. Then I'm going in and filling in those little areas with my dark gray. That's going to be shown here in the next screen, but that's 902. And just like with the umbrella, I'm working one letter at a time. I'm not skipping ahead or anything like that. I want to make sure that I am switching to each color and getting each one. I'm going every other, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Now I'm going to go back and again fill in all of those little areas with my dark gray. Just trying to use a really light hand when adding in this. Some of those areas are very small, so you want to just use a very tiny bit of pressure with your marker. Go ahead and skip down here to the next word. You can kind of see that that T rose is, is very pinky until you pull in some of that orange. Go ahead and do the, add the blue for the R. Very fun. I think these would be fun colored with a variety of different watercolor tools. There are so many great watercolor supplies and colors out there. You could use a paintbrush and watercolors, the Tim Holtz Distress Markers definitely. Um, use Distress Inks in a, in a paintbrush. Any of the great watercolor, um, products out there specifically for water coloring and paint brushes. Just really fun. Lots of great ways to do this. These 
what I love about the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers is there's definitely more control there than with maybe some other tools. And so for me, I am not the best watercolor out there, so I love the control that these markers give me. Going to finish filling in. They also have a great, nice brush tip, but it's um, depending on the amount of pressure you use, it will fill in teeny tiny areas really well. It's got a nice uh, tip there that's very, very fine. Finish these last two letters. And again, the additional color combinations I used are going to be shown here in just a second. I'm going to skip over and color the umbrella or the raindrops with the 302. For green, I used 053 and 047. For blue, I used 032 and 036. Again, the raindrops are in 302. I'm also going to take in a little bit of the 036 to add a little darker color to those raindrops. For the umbrella handle, I am using 072 and 062. Blend that out nicely. Again, once that's dry, I'm going to take my gray, which is the 902, and fill in any of those little areas. It's really going to make the umbrella and all of the letters pop off of that white background. It's just important that you let all the other ink colors dry first so that this doesn't bleed into that. Because these are water-based markers, the color you lay down first, you could definitely cause some bleeding to occur if you color in those outlines too quickly. I'm going to take the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush Marker to the umbrella only. I decided I wanted to add a little sparkle or shimmer there, but not to the entire panel, so I'm just going to add that right over top of the umbrella. Make sure that in between colors you wipe off the edge of the marker on a scrap piece of paper because it's going to pick up some of that marker color. I'm going to tape one of the Simon Says Stamp stitched rectangle dies in place and I'm going to die cut this. It's going to make the panel slightly smaller than a standard A2 sized card. Give it a nice little outline. I used post-it tape to hold it in place when I ran it through so it would be nice and straight. I'm taking some glossy accents now, and I have this great little nozzle tip here. It's linked in supplies, but it fits the small bottles of matte medium and glossy accents perfectly. And I'm going to go over the raindrops with this glossy accents. It's going to give them a nice little bit of shine and dimension that looks great, especially for something like raindrops. And then you're going to want to make sure you let that sit and dry for plenty of time so that um, you don't get your hand through it or wipe your hand through it. Now because I, time was limited and I was doing this video, I'm very, very carefully going to add some white dot detail with a white glaze pen. This is the Sakura white pen. And I'm going to add detail to the umbrella. Go all the way around each section there. Just a fun little way to dress up this card. There's not a lot more that you need for this design. Everything is there. Your greeting is there. Your accent is there. So dressing it up with the addition of the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Pen, the White Glaze Pen, and Glossy Accents just serves to add interest to this panel. So I'll go ahead and finish going around the entire umbrella. And then I'm going to finish with a scattering of Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear Sequins in both the 6mm and 4mm size. Whenever I want to add just a little something to a project, those Sparkling Clear Sequins are my go-to. Because they're clear, they're not going to detract away from the design of the card, but they are going to add a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of interest as well as some dimension to the card design. I'll attach the panel to a top fold Simon Says Stamp card base and the card is all finished. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the Simon Says Stamp, Stamp Timber, Susie's Watercolor Doodles, Paintable Prints. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.